Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're talking about curves. All right, so if you go here to the app menu, you're gonna see that curves right here and Shift A, curves. Any other objects, but today it's just about curves, right? So let's add a Vizier curve. And you're gonna see me that, uh, you're gonna be seeing me using a lot of the keyboard, not these manipulators, but you can always just go over here and do the same process here to move, rotate, or scale, all right? So it's gonna go to the edit mode, and to do that, you can also do it, if you go here to the top, go to edit mode or object mode to get out, or tap. If, you, if you're using the pie menu, you can use uh, this stuff right here with tap, or control tap for me, that's what I'm using, and that, uh, right? Just in case you see me doing that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna scale this out a little bit, and I'm gonna move it in the z-axis right there. If you scale the vertices, you're gonna increase the fall off of the curve. All right, there you go. So today, we're gonna be focusing more about what kind of shapes can we create with a curve. And because usually for me, is for me, I, I'm just doing pipes or cables and stuff like that. And uh, it's pretty useful, uh, you know, to be, you know, it's pretty useful to know about that. And, uh, you know, I love doing cables and stuff, stuff like that. So I use it all the time. So it's like, people need to know about this. <laughs> all right. So now that we have this little curve right here, we're just gonna create some shapes to it. And if you go to the uh, to the little curve right here, you click that, it's the properties only about the curves that you have selected, All right? Let's go to geometry and let's put some uh, uh, depth to it. If you go to the bevel tab, and now we have something you know nice going on, there we go. And it says round right here. If you go to object right here, you're gonna use another object beside the one you have right here. And it has to be a curve. So let have, let's add a circle here, move it to the side here, apply the scale, control A, apply scale, select the curve, and let's go here to this th uh, thing right here, select the object, and now we have that. Remember, whatever shape we have right here, we're gonna put it right there. So we're just gonna edit this real quick here. Uh, let's go something like that. This is not interesting at all. So let me just uh, scale something like this. And there you go. These are like those. Let's go on the X axis. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. Something like that. It's so cool right there. Oh my God. Look at that. All right. So do you get the point? Whatever shape you have here, you're going to turn it into. You're going to modify this one. And move here to the side. And let's go with profile. This is pretty cool right here. So now in profile, you have the option the, to, to do like cool stuff with this. You have some presets right here, like support loops. And let me activate here, hold on, so you can see what's going on. Like we have this round thing or square or whatever. And let's go something like, let me add more resolution to this, hold on. There you go, more resolution here. So you can see more details. There you go. Remember, uh, you can also increase the resolution in this right here. So you have more smooth stuff going on. All right. And a little bit more. All right, there you go. And if we go to ceramical corny, corny mold, what is this? Crown molding now. We had this, that's actually pretty cool right there. I like that, that's nice. And let's go to the next one, it's steps. Ooh, nice. And let's go now, let's create our own. So let me just reduce this a little bit, there you go. So I'm just gonna grab one of these vertices right here, one of these little dots. And I'm gonna do something like that. But here, I'm just gonna select that dot, and I'm gonna put something like this. What if I do that? Oh, you can do this. Oh, okay. This is pretty cool. There you go. Ooh. I'm going to go with that. There you go. Something like that. And I'm going to select it like this. Nice fall off here. You can see what's going on immediately, right? This is pretty cool. Increase the resolution here. So we have, there you go. So if I move it around like that, and I'm going to put it like this, this is pretty cool, huh? All right. So this is kind of like the stuff you can, you know, that you can create. And I'm gonna show you something right now about, you know, uh, let me, if we go to, let me just duplicate this one right here. If you go to the edit, edit mode, 
this stuff right here, those those are new in, in Blender for the last few versions. I, I, I don't know exactly. I'm not going to pretend that I know because I don't know. So let me just... Let me just show you what this does. If I go to the top here, I'm going to select this one, you know, the draw. And I'm just going to draw. And it's just going to draw. It's going to draw the curve that you had selected right there. That's pretty cool, right? And I just, uh, let's say that I want to do that. And I, I let me just put it around there. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to press, select those two, press F just to weld those, delete that vertex right there. And now we have that going on. And I, I, I do this quite a lot because, like I said, I like to use curves to create cables and stuff like that. But this is pretty cool, right? And you can just modify this profile as, as whatever you want. Look at that. And, and you can add another vertice if you just click. It's going to keep adding more and more. This is ugly. Let me just go back. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. All right, so this is just uh, you know to show you how it, if you go to edit mode here, and let me let me I, I to be to be honest here, I never use any of this stuff because I already know like if I go here and you want to extrude this, just press E and it's gonna extrude that like it's gonna extrude it like that. There you go. But if you want to use this stuff, you can just select that and just this is what's gonna happen. There you go. This is like pressing E like. If I don't have a select, press E. This gonna, this is what's gonna happen right there. And that one, you you know, drawing this one is like the radius of this. I, I guess it's just gonna increase this a little bit. You know that stuff. You know that's pretty cool. I guess. Do you have something like that? That's pretty cool. All right. So let's say that that's a weird object right there. And the other one is um, the tilt. I guess it's just to, you know, squeeze the stuff. No, oh, that's pretty cool. Keep twisting stuff. Nice. There you go. Do the same with this one. I don't even know. There you go. I never got to. I never got to a point that I had to use something like this, but. I think I can, I can I see the the uh, I, see, I can see the use now. I might be using this in the future. All right, so now we we saw that. Let me just delete that. It's just a weird object right there. All right, so the other thing that I wanted to show you is how to taper, kind of like, and this is one thing that if you press Alt S, you can do this manually. You know, Alt S to scale manually doing this kind of stuff. You know. But you can also do that by using another object. And if you go here, let me uh, add another curve. I mean, a circle here. Apply the scale. I always apply the scale. There you go. And if you go to taper here, object here, you can select that object right there. And uh, it's going to increase the radius here. And that's how you do it. All right. If you also, if you, you know, you can manipulate this stuff right here. So, there you go. All right. There you go. So that's uh, basically, you know, cool stuff that you can do with, uh, and how you can manipulate shapes and create cool uh, cables and, uh, you know, weird shapes <laughs> like we saw uh, for that stuff. And now that we have all this stuff, okay. Oh, I did Shift-H to, let me go back. Select the object, Shift H, it's going to hide everything but the object that you had selected. Like that. And if you Alt H, it's going to bring back everything. All right. Just, uh, just so you know. So now that we have this cool object right here, what if we want to turn it already into like a mesh? You know, you know what? I'm satisfied with this awesome curve. So I'm just going to, let me, let me do an, a final extrude here. Oh, what, what was that? Extrude. There you go. Something like this, uh, whatever. We have something like that. Let me just duplicate this one. There you go. Because I'm going to show you something else right now. So now that we have this, you know what? You know what? I want to convert convert this into a mesh because right now we cannot access to those polygons except for manipulating the resolution. But that's not it. 
So if you want to do that, you can. There's a few ways how you can do that. You go to Optic right here on the top, and go to Convert and select Mesh, and immediately it's going to turn into a mesh. Obviously, the other option is you can just search for it. Like you go over here, and you're like Convert, and it's going to tell you where is the option. Like Object Convert is right here on the top. Like I show you right now, Mesh is the same thing. And also, like you saw right now, let me just, if you alt and click, it's going to select the whole loop. And add shift D to duplicate and P to select that, I mean, to uh, separate that option as a uh, newly and independent object right there. And what if you want to turn this into a curve, the same process, go to object, convert, curve, and now you have a curve. Of that stuff if you go over here it's going to have the same the same pr uh properties uh, let me just uh there you go something like that so that's how you do it now this is an uh, it, the, sorry now this is an object but i want to show you how to this is a cool thing that i i do quite a bit like to add manipulators to the curb in case you want to have that option like if i go here to the edit mode i'm going to select this vertice right here and let me do something here because select it all. If you do this option right here, it's going to show the handles all the time. So you know where they are. Otherwise, it's just, you're just going to be seeing whenever you select it. Whenever you select, it's going to show you the handles. So I have to, I like to have it in all, all the time. All right. So now we go, that we have this, I'm going to go here to this one right here. And I'm going to press Ctrl H. And I'm gonna hook to new object, and it's gonna create this empty. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to, we're gonna get to that in, in a little bit. Do the same thing with this one. Control H and same one, same Control H and Control H, same process. If you go to edit mode, out of edit mode, you still have those empties right here. Those are gonna help to manipulate the object outside of edit mode. You can rotate it, and it's still gonna be using you know the same values. If you scale, uh, scale this out, it's going to be using the same values from the fall off that you, it, like if you were in the edit mode, that's what I'm trying to say here. If you scale the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the empty, it's going to scale the, the fall off of the curve. You see that? That's pretty cool. It's like a, like a quick rigging for curves. Uh, I like, yeah, that's, uh, how can I put it, right? Because let's say that you are adding, you know, cables and stuff like that. You're like, you know what? I think I want to add this real quick. I, I'm going to create this uh, this thing and I'm going to do it like that. Instead of just going to edit mode and just do it like that. Just so you know. All right? So if you go here and if you go to modifiers, you're going to see that you have these hooks connected. In order for this to be applied, you need to apply the modifiers. Otherwise, you see that when you go to edit mode, it's still going to be the same uh, the same shape that you had, just so you know, because this is non-destructive. So if you just uh, disable all of those, you're going to see that it goes back to the original shape. Or you can just, you know, you know what? I love this shape. I'm just going to apply that. Apply it. And now you have this, this thing right here. You can delete those hooks. There you go. All right. So let me just... Go back here. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing. Delete all. Delete all. Delete remove. There you go. All right. All right. So I really, really hope that you learn something from this tutorial about the curves and how to manipulate them to create like new interesting shapes. Because there is so much more about curves. Like how can you use the the, the curves? To manipulate all the objects like i use it for arrays and uh, how to like have cool shapes in it like all their stuff uh, all their objects uh, you know connected to it but you know i don't want to get into like an hour tutorial on this and uh, we already have in 14 minutes in so i'm going to stop right here and i guess that all this stuff going to be another tutorial so i really hope that you learned something like i said i miss a few things but i know about that i was just more the, fo the focus of the tutorial was about showing this kind of stuff to you and how to manipulate them. All right, guys. So if you liked the, uh, the video, please, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. So bye-bye.